Good, Good morning, Northwest. Northwest. Please. I, oh. oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm Jazlyn. I'm Shiloh. <laughs> and we'd like to welcome you to Titan Connect. Please, Please stand for the pledge. pledge. Put your right hand over your heart and your left hand by your side and say it with us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for dress code check. <laughs> you may be seated. Not for today's announcements. So, oh, okay. So remember that we have an away game versus CC Griffin tomorrow. And don't forget, if you like to go to get your tickets on Ticket Spicket. And now for Mr. Henson. I'm a gummy bear. I'm a gummy bear. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well today. It was great to be outside in the sunshine, and it's supposed to be nearly 70 today, so it's a little little hint of spring. We'll see, we'll see how long that lasts. So we're going to jump right into our Wednesday Words of Wisdom. Now, I know a lot of you guys love potatoes. Today is actually National Potato Lovers Day. This is an entire day set aside to enjoy all the different ways that potatoes can be prepared. Boiled, baked, fried, mashed, and the list goes on and on and on. I know lots of you guys love those potato wedges and fries in the cafeteria too. Now here's a couple fun potato facts. The actual word potato came from the Native American word patata. So from patata to potato. All right, did you realize that the average American eats 140 pounds of potatoes a year? That's a lot of potatoes. Speaking of a lot of potatoes, did you know how big the world's largest potato is? It was 28 feet long, 12 feet wide, and 11 and a half feet tall. And it's called the Great Big Idaho Potato. That's a lot of French fries. Also, potato chips, they were invented all the way back in 1853. And as they say, the rest is history. So take some time today to enjoy your favorite potato dish. Now, today, this week is National Counselor Week. This week is celebrated this year, February 6th through 10th, and it's intended to focus public attention on the unique contributions that our school counselors make within our schools. This week is sponsored by the American School Counselor Association, and it highlights the tremendous impact that school counselors have helping students achieve school success and plan for a career. This year's theme is Helping Students Dream Big. So dream big students. So we want to give a big shout out to Ms. McAdair with 6th grade, Ms. Gibson with 7th grade, and Ms. Rising with 8th grade. Thanks for everything you do. Way to go, ladies. Round of applause. All right, also, you remember last week we talked about Black History Month. The mo entire month of February, we'll be highlighting different figures in American history to those that uh, influence black history in our country. Today's person is Dorothy Jean Johnson Vaughn. Now many of you may know her and you may not even realize it, but she was an American mathematician and way back in the day she was actually what was called a human computer. And she worked for uh, NASA and was one of the people who actually helped with some of the space flights and the calculations for the space flights. And later in her career she was actually promoted to a position of supervision and she actually, in the early 60s, she actually was the person who helped teach herself and her staff how to program some of the supercomputers of that time. And you may remember her from a movie that you may have seen. It's called Hidden Figures. She was actually the character in that movie and also a, a book. So we'd like to recognize Miss Dorothy Vaughn for all of her contributions today. Now we have our quote of the week. It's actually in honor of National School Counselor Week. And here's our quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson. Don't be pushed by your problems, be led by your dreams. So this quote reminds us that we can be driven by our problems, we can become negative, we can do things like that, but instead focus on those positive aspects of your life and that, let that lead you to pursue your dreams. You know the sky's the limit when you have that mindset. As we close for today, Titan family, just remember, be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. Make it a great day. The choice is yours. <laughs>